sir. What's going on, folks? It is K-Spade the Prospect. I'm back today with a brand new Madden 20 online head-to-head -head gameplay. If you are new to my channel or this series, I am trying to go all the way through the entire NFL and get a win with every single team. And if I keep winning, I, I rock with that team a little bit before I move on to the next one. I have been doing pretty good with the New Orleans Saints. I've been kicking some ass, fam. I'm going to let y'all know. In today's game, I got the New England Patriots, which I see a lot. I'm so tired of seeing the Patriots and the Cowboys, and it's only going to get worse once the Patriots actually get Antonio Brown in this game. It's going to be terrible. But in the meantime, I've been kicking their ass, fam, especially with the Saints. Now, right here, Jared Cook turned on the burners. Damn, they got past everybody. Well, he really got past everybody and got hooked around the three-yard line. On second and goal, I decided to just let Drew Brees keep it. It's an easy, easy score, and we get on the board 7-0. I like the way we started off. This end right here is going to be pretty easy. I've been seeing the comments, you guys like, Spade, why are you using Cam Jordan to be a spy? He's your best pass rusher. He also can get to the QB, man. His pursuit is crazy, but I don't have to do that in this game. Uh, Tom Brady's not a threat to run. I can let him just pin his ears back and do exactly what you saw him do right there. Fourth and long, they decide to punt. I saw Vision in the comment section say, Spade, why don't you show us, you know, how you get busy on the special teams, on the kick returns. I said, cool, you know, because I get busy there too. I'll show you that. Offense back on the field. Second down, Alvin Kamara with the block set up. 53 won't catch him. Devin McCourty. Uh, who, which, which McCourty is that? One of those McCourties is the one that caught. Jared Cook on the previous play, I made sure I gave him a crazy angle so he wouldn't catch me there. And we're on the board again, 14-0. Anzalone in the backfield taking Tom Brady down. Like I said, Tom Brady, I, look, I told y'all I like playing scrambling quarterbacks because everybody uses them the same. At the same time, as long as I got this team here, I like using a guy that's just going to stand in the pocket too because you can only block Cam Jordan for so long. And that so long ain't very long. Fourth down, this guy's elected to go for it. I understand you down 14-0. You feel like you probably got to make a play. But there's a lot of football left, fam. You really don't have to do this. He's making a lot of pre-snap reads, changing quite a few things here, operating from the gun. And it really don't matter what the hell pre-snap adjustments he was doing because Cam Jordan just went back there and shut that whole shit down. First and 10 for my offense, Breeze. Throwing dots, fam. Back to Jared Cook again. Jared Cook has been eating, and the game just started. Trucked the fool before he got caught from behind, and on the very next play, Alvin Kamara said, I got this. Fam, it is 21-0, <laughs> and we ain't even made it to the half yet. This thing right here might get ugly. Second and short for the Patriots. Tom Brady again with the pre-snap adjustments. He's making some changes, fam. And now he's getting into his bag a little bit. Now, I was there. I would have loved for that to be a pick. But I can't be mad because I can see what he's doing now. Everybody's crisscrossing. Look at that pressure, fam. Look at that pressure. It is crazy. This team can get to the quarterback unless, look at this, man. This is crazy. Unless you got some really quick reads. Man, this is going to be bad for you. Cam Jordan glowed up, coming off that edge. He's able to get that pass off, and this is kind of how he's going to have to play. Look at Cam. Like, I can't even do my commentary because I'm just watching Cam Jordan. It is crazy. But he's playing smart. And then he goes to empty backfield right here, which I feel like is pretty damn dangerous. But I guess he knew what he was doing. He was backpedaling. So I thought he knew what he was doing. He was backpedaling away from the Cam Jordan pressure. But he threw it to me because I be lurking. That's what I do. My offense back on the field. Who was that? Ted again, I need you to make that catch, fam. You running the seams. Make the catch. Third and ten for me. He sends a little bit of pressure. Why not go back to Jared Cook? I couldn't control myself. I ran out of bounds after the spin. But Jared Cook has been automatic. I went for it on fourth down because I smelled blood. I'm going to be honest with you. I felt like if I scored again, he would have been out of there. And I was trying to get him out of there. I really was. I had no reason to go for it there, but I just felt too powerful. Now, I'm back on defense. And I, like I said, he's made some adjustments right there. We just gave him a lot of time. But he's made some adjustments to the way he's been calling plays on offense. He's really dialing up a lot of drag. <laughs> that one wasn't it, though. He had the short guy. But he's been dialing up a lot of drags and crossing routes and and a lot of ends, and I feel like that's playing to the strengths of this team, at least until they get A-B. Now, we go into the half, 21-0. Third quarter comes out. I got the ball first. So, his offense is back on the field. And, fam, you making some dangerous reads right now. I just gave you compliments. I just gave you compliments. All right, and there we go. Now, he's back on it. Now, I will tell you, man, Julian Edelman, I feel like this guy makes catches that he shouldn't make. Like, he makes catches. 
And my opponent just figured that out. Like, he got it downloaded late. He was really looking for him here. I say late in the second, pretty much the second half that we played. This man was looking for him. Now, here, he does get... I don't know, man. Eyes a little too big. I can't blame him for taking a shot downfield, especially in one-on-one -on -one coverage. But you had something that was working. Third and ten, now I got to put them boys on you again. Here comes the pressure. This time it's Demario Davis getting to him. Fourth and 20, he's going for it. And I feel like he's at that tipping point, man. I, that's that's where I believe he's it. He, uh, and then again, I'll be damned. He goes across the middle. He hits Julian Edelman. He picks up the first. He moves the chains. And now, I'm, I'm, in my mind, I'm like, should I just look for Julian Edelman every play? Like, I'm just going to look for Edelman. And, oh, how did he survive that one? You throw it to, to me, fam. I'm out here. You got to give me my props. So I'm doing this thing where I'm showing blitz. I'm dropping back. I'm looking for Edelman. And right there, man, Brady was just climbing the pocket, climbing the pocket. And he just climbed into a defensive lineman. That really, that's the sack he could have avoided. It really was no pressure on him whatsoever there. Third and long. Your pre-stop adjustments again being, you know, being done. The pressure's on. And, hey, I ain't, I ain't mad at it. Now, I got that pick. But I'm not mad at it. I see what he was trying to do, man. Like, if he didn't see something that he loved in the inside, he took a shot downfield. And like I said, man, his tipping point was reaching. He didn't even wait till a big play happened. He just decided he was up out of here. And that's all I got for today's video, man. I'm playing one more game. Win, lose, or draw. That is all I got before I go to the Tampa Bay Bucks. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If so, leave a like. If you're new, hit subscribe. And I'm out till next time, folks. Yeah.